Hi everybody, uh, welcome to today's lecture. We're gonna get started. Uh, I'm going to share my screen with you. Uh, so let's do that. Um, the PowerPoint slides. Um, and we'll take it from there. Please ask any questions if you have any, okay? So we use, uh, we, we, we talked about how we use arrows to show electrons uh, moving, pairs of electrons moving when bonds break, when bonds form. Uh, and there are four ways that electrons move in ionic reactions. We have a nucleophilic attack, loss of a leaving group, proton transfer, and rearrangements. And I'm going to talk about each of these in turn with examples, okay? So let's look at nucleophilic attack first. Uh, so when you have a nucleophile, which is an electron-rich species, remember things with lone pairs, for example, and you have uh, an electrophile, which is uh, typically something that has a, only six valence electrons, like this carbocation, or uh, maybe it's the positive end of a bond dipole. Um, you can show uh, the reaction uh, with a curved arrow. So the curved arrow, uh, uh, the base of the arrow starts at the electron pair, and the head of the arrow shows where it's going. So the electron-rich species is forming a bond with the electron-poor species. And so this represents the nucleophile attacking the electrophile, okay? This is a bond formation process, and this is the product of the reaction. Here's another nucleophilic attack reaction. We have a nucleophile. Oxygen has lone pairs that can be donated. And we have this C double bond O, which uh, the carbon is, a, is an electrophile because it's the positive end of a bond dipole. It's electron deficient. The oxygen is pulling electron away from it. So you can get a nucleophilic attack where the electron-rich oxygen is going to form a bond to the electron-poor carbon. We show that with the curved arrow. So the base of the arrow starts at the electrons, electron pair, and the head shows where it's going, right? Now you notice there's two arrows here. There's another arrow over here, right? Uh, that's because this carbon already has four bonds. Uh, and it can't make five. So in order to accommodate the bond to the oxygen, the pi bond breaks, and these electrons move on to the oxygen, and this is what you end up with, right? Here's the alcohol that's attached. Oxygen now has a positive charge because it has three bonds and a lone pair. And this oxygen, uh, one bond and three lone pairs is now negative. Okay? So those are two examples of nucleophilic attack. Let's look at loss of a leaving group. That's a little different process. Uh, loss of a leaving group is just what it says. Some group, usually a weak base, uh, leaves a molecule. So in this case, the BR is leaving. Uh, what the arrow shows is that the bond, the shared electrons collecting, connecting the bromine with the carbon, is breaking. These electrons, the base, of those electrons, the bond, is uh, moving onto the bromine, that, which, which is indicated by the head of the arrow, right? The base is where the electrons start that are moving. The head shows where they're going. Well, if these electrons are now on the bromine, well, that bond is no longer there, it's broken. And so we end up with a carbon with three bonds, a carbocation, and BR picks up the lone pair, it's BR minus bromide. Let's take a look at this reaction down here. So what's happening here? Uh, in this case, you're getting two processes occurring at the same time. You have uh, oxygen, which is a nucleophile, right? It has uh, lone pairs that can be donated. And we have a carbon that is the positive end of a bond dipole, right? So uh, it's an electrophile. And so you're getting the reaction. One of the lone pairs on the oxygen is forming a bond to the carbon shown by the curved arrow, right? Since carbon already has four bonds, uh, 
something has to give. And what gives is this bond breaks, the, the bond uh, holding the carbon to the bromine. You see those electrons are moving on to the bromine. And so you have both a nucleophilic attack and loss of a leaving group, right? Two processes at the same time, okay? 